So day three on the hardcore started exactly how day two finished. More damn rooftops. I finally started to get some marks of grace, which is hopefully going to unlock the go faster outfit for me soon enough. My plan was just to stay here until I unlocked Farrak rooftop course at 30 agility. Apparently that's going to be my quickest way to get that fancy outfit I need. But clicking rooftops is boring as all hell for me, so I checked if I could do any quests in the meantime. Wishes potion seemed easy enough. I only needed an onion, burnt meat and an eye of newt and apparently I could buy all these things or make them. So I got 26 agility and then I went off questing for a while. So I bought a small eyeball from this person and then was wanting to do winter till I'd have to keep my health low so I couldn't fight for my meat, I had to buy it instead. Then I went to this wee kitchen here to cook it but I left not realising that it had to be cooked twice for it to be burnt meat so I went back to burn it but then I accidentally click it and eat it instead of using it on the furnace. So after another trip to the meat shop in the furnace I finally had all the things I needed for this quest. I went to talk to this witch but actually I did have to kill this rat for its tail but luckily it didn't level up my health. I gave them to the witch and that was a very easy quest finished. Next up I wanted to start recipe for disaster so I swung my axe got the logs lit them on fire and waited for the white powder to fall on the floor I needed to buy another small eyeball I really didn't have much money here so I sold some of the logs that I just chopped to this general store just enough to get me to Artie again and then I sold some of my silk from the previous day I ran to the gnome stronghold again to take a cocktail making class visited this guy close by as well to buy some beer then I used this home teleport which I didn't realize that I had before it took me back to the Lumbridge castle and I had to talk to the cook here to complete the quest and then I had to sit through this cutscene as well. It may as well have been a damn movie it was that long. Doing this quest unlocked the bank in the kitchen basement though, which means no more stairs for me. At this stage, questing was tearing my soul apart a little, so I went to mine a fallen star for a while instead. It was above my level though, so while I waited I got a couple of mining levels and ticked a few things off the Varric Easy Diary. Then I was able to chill out and mine this star. After spending a while here, I still wasn't ready to face the game, so I found another fallen star and wasted another hour here. Then I felt like I should finally do something again, so I tried to do Dork's quest. I had to go down these stairs and do a mine to mine some clay. I was scared of the scorpions that could kill me being down there, so I hesitated for ages, then finally went in. Saw scorpions, straight back out. I read up about scorpions and their max hit was two. I didn't have far to go apparently, and I had lots of cake. I could do this. I went back in, ran to the clay, and not one damn scorpion attacked me that time. Then I ran back out of the mine and up to visit Doric. Another quest completed. I used this fancy home telly again, as I thought it was my quickest way to Draenor. Someone in my Twitch chat told me about a chronicle book that could take me to Varric. So I bought it and then took myself off to Varric with the intention of completing this quiz at the museum. The quest helper plugin made this easy. Suddenly I had an instant 900 in Slayer levels. For some bizarre reason I decided to start the dig site quest next. I don't recommend this. It involved a hell of a lot of walking, some talking, more walking, lots of walking. I hated this quest, and at the end I couldn't even finish it. I had to dig around these bones here to find something, and I think it took me about 50 digs to get what I needed. Then I realised I actually couldn't do any more of the quest because I didn't have the herb lore levels. So I went back to Vara, gave this nice dog some of the bones I found at the dig site. At this stage I didn't even care what my levels were, I was just mad and wanted out of this game. So that was me done for the night.